Hey, this is the Fight Nerd, and joining me now is Tom the Tank Alicchio, and Tom will be fighting at the M1 Challenge 27 show in Arizona. Tom, how are you today? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm good, and as we mentioned, October 14, 7 p.m., live on Showtime, you're going to be fighting Daniel Madrid in Arizona. Now, how are you getting ready for this fight? You want to actually know I'm getting ready? I uh, moved my camp out to California. I'm training at Teen Quest. Interesting. That's, that's a big move for you. Yeah, absolutely. It's a great camp out here and a lot of great guys and a lot of great coaches. Now, this... I, I'm very happy that they, they have me here. Is this a full-time move or is this just for this fight? As of now, just for this fight. We're going to see how this goes. Right, now, what got you uh, all the way out to Team Quest for this match? Well, I called all the little big camps and, you know, I, like I called Duke Rufus. Left messages, left emails, never got back to me, called Jackson's, called AKA. Oh, who else did I call? I think that's about it. And then I called, called this camp, and nobody else got back to me. And so I was like, oh, yeah, there's, there's Dan Andrews. And I was like, I'll do that. That seems like a good, let me call. They probably won't pick up. Called right away. He, Tim's picked up, and he's like, yeah, I'll have you whenever you could come down. Oh, that's, that's great. Two days later, I was down. That's great. That's definitely a, a big change in terms of how you train. Like, what's uh, the biggest difference that you're getting out of Team Quest as opposed to your normal gym? You know what? It's not a guys into a room that are my size. I mean, they're loaded with top notch 170 pounders. Like, there's just there's just a lot of talent here. All right, now um... I, I don't think they <laughs> <laughs> All right now, how much do you know about your opponent for this fight, Daniel Madrid? How much? Hmm. I guess not. I know he's a, a grappler, pretty much out of uh, he's a he's a Gracie grappler in Arizona. And the Gracies are no strangers to you because you have fought Igor in the past. In fact, Igor Gracie and you uh, beat yeah. him by decision a while back. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, before I even started uh, rolling in a gi, I, I fought Igor. <laughs> So do you have any predictions for how this fight's going to go? Do you think it's going to go on the ground right away, or are you going to try and keep it standing? Um, I don't know how it's going to go, to be honest with you, but I'll be ready for wherever it goes. All right, now, I want to take a few steps back and uh, talk about M1 and your journey with the company from when you first got started during the selection series. Uh, if you don't mind, tell us how you first got picked up by M1. Um, They called my manager. Well, uh, you know, They were interested in me and getting me in the tournament. You know, um, I guess Paul was doing the matchmaking. So, um, yeah, they were interested in me. You know, I guess I had a pretty good local name. And before you know it, I was fighting in the tournament. They were just throwing tough fight after tough fight after me. <laughs> That's right. You pretty much had fight of the night. Uh, you know, other than Tyson Jeffries, you guys both had really, I'd say, fights of the nights every time you guys showed up. Uh, so let's talk about your journey then, because you had three fights to get to the finals. Who was your toughest opponent in the series? Either Pena or Meisner. And what was so I mean, tough about those probably, dudes? I mean, I was probably down on the cards versus Meisner. I mean, it was close, but, you know, I definitely had to step it up in high gear. Um, you know, in the final round against him, Pena, me and Pena went to a split decision. I mean, he was tough, too, so it's really hard to tell between the two of them, but they were very, very tough. Then Bentley was a walk in the park compared to those two. That's right, and uh, Bentley was who you faced in the finals, am I correct? Yes, absolutely. The, the, the first two opponents were so tough, I just knew there was going to be any scrap of Len Bentley. Uh, Len Bentley went on to go to the Ultimate Fighter Season 13, uh, even though you just basically had beaten him a few months uh, before he got onto the show. So just taking a few steps back, how did you feel when you found out that Len was going to be on the show and not someone like you? <laughs> I, I didn't have the opportunity to go, though. I was uh, on contract with m one. Right, now let's talk about um, how you felt about signing with M1, because I know, especially at that time when you first joined, and even before that, M1 uh, had a little bit of a dubious reputation to them, but do you have any worries about working with that company? Um, the only thing they can fix is their travel arrangements. <laughs> they should, you know, when they fly up the American fighters overseas, I think they should give us a little bit more than a day and a half to adjust. <laughs> Now, let's talk about your experience in Russia, because, you know, being with them when you actually did get to travel to Russia to have a match there. So what was the experience like going all the way uh, onto another continent to fight? 
you know, I didn't even really get to enjoy it. I spent about, uh, I got there a, um, a day before weigh-ins, like half a day before weigh-ins. Uh, they woke me up to go to the sauna, and then I, um, you know, weighed in. I got to see Russia for a little bit, and then the next day I slept until like 6 o'clock. My clock was all messed up, and I had to go fight. And then the next day they flew me back home. All right, now let's take uh, just a step forward now, back to the match coming up you have on uh, October 14th. Uh, this match against Madrid, is this going to possibly get you back into the line for uh, a title shot? You know, as of right now, I'm just fighting and having fun, enjoying it. You know, I, I found a new, you know, I've been training so hard for this fight. You know, you're going to see a new and improved Tom Delecchio out there this time. And poor Daniel Madrid, I'm not going to know what hit him right away. <laughs> Um, as of title shots, I'm actually looking to drop down a weight class after this fight. So you're going to be moving down to lightweight? Yep, 155. Mm, interesting. All right, well, what's, what made you decide to drop down a weight class? You know, being out here, I notice I'm small for my weight. And to be honest with you, I'm only about three pounds away from weight right now. Huh. All right, now, most important question for you right now, uh, Gears of War 3 or... Space Marines, Warhammer game, which one are you going to be buying? Gears of War. When I get home, when I get home and play my uh, Xbox, I'm getting Gears of War. Right now, I'm stuck with my Nintendo DS out here. Ah, uh, right. You're all the way uh, in another state, yeah. So, what are you doing with your DS? Uh, <laughs> um, you know, I, I play some of the old, like, they have a Mario 64, but I've been really into this uh, Dragon Quest game. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, old school RPGing right there. That's some that's some good RPG action oh, right there. Yeah. I think it's I think it's like a new Dragon Quest, but like it's, I'll tell you what, it's a great game. I've been hooked, and I, and I do have the time to put into it now since I'm not working or anything. You know, just training twice a day and then laying down on my bed and catching up with the DS. <laughs> yes, yeah, so Dragon Quest. Hope you guys are listening. Let's get a, a nice Dragon Quest sponsorship for Tom Glucio out there. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> All right, well, Tom, if you'd like, go ahead and uh, please thank any sponsors you have coming up for this fight. I don't even know who my sponsors are yet, but I would like to thank everybody at Team Quest. There's a ton of talented guys out here, and I want to thank them and the coaches for helping me get ready, and I want to thank all my team back at home at Kirk Pellegrino and the Met. You know, um, it'd be nice to get some sponsors. Hopefully some come along, but I'm after the W, trying to get that juice. All right, well, for anybody who's listening out there who wants a sponsor, Tom, how do they get in touch with you to make that happen? You can find me on Facebook. It would probably be the best, and I'll check my Twitter very much. All right, well, Tom, we, we, our viewers can check you out on Friday, October 14th, 7 p.m. in Phoenix, Arizona, at M1 Challenge 27. Headlining that fight is going to be Kenny Garner and Gurum Googie Googie, whatever his name is. I can never pronounce that thing, right? Tom, oh, go- yeah, me neither. Yeah. That's a terrible name. Hopefully we, hopefully we see Deuce knock him out. That will be nice. So, Tom, good luck with the fight, and thank you for your time tonight. Oh, thank you.